welcome to the part two of the Forescan installation video. In this video, we'll be covering choosing and installing the dongle that connects the car to the program. Now, there are many Forescan cables available. Uh, you can use a genuine VCM2 or the VCMM, which are the four dongles. There are countless cheap um, sub £20, like $18, $22 sort of price range. They have a little flick switch on the back to um, switch between medium speed can and high speed can, which I think are, don't know, it's not something I'd want to do, um, especially if you're a, a heavy user of the tool. Um, the official tool, uh, OBD Link, I think it's called, um, they're available on my Amazon store. Uh, the link is below in the video description. They're around about £75 in English money, or you can get one of these, which I've bought, it's not been supplied to me, for about 32 35 pounds uh, and again available in my amazon store so i'm not going to do a fancy pants unboxing it's a dongle made specifically for forescan so i'm going to open it going to get it installed and we're going to use it for the first time on my car so out of the box this is what the dongle looks like obviously got some little flashing lights on the end of it and also a set of instructions um with some quite um detailed instructions for the installation of the dongle we've got to go down to their website uh, choose some drivers download them and change some settings in Forescan. so let's go do that so the next step is to open up your browser and head on over to that particular website ftdichip.com and here we're now going to download the drivers so let's head on over to the website Let's just get rid of that message there about fake phishing spoofing emails. We don't really want the newsletter. So let's reject the cookies. And then we head on over to the drivers section at the top there. If you follow the cursor, highlight VCP drivers. Click on that link. And that will take us to the drivers page. It's already highlighted VCP drivers. So let's scroll down and see what options we've got. So as you can see there, uh, I'm not using a Windows desktop, so it's going to be Windows Universal, and it's a 64-bit uh, laptop. So that's the um, driver there, 2.12.36.4U. It's already downloaded it as a zip file. Now the instructions state nothing about unzipping the file. So let's carry on. So now we've got the driver installed. We head back over to the desktop, open up Forescan and go to the settings page. Then we head up to connection at the top there. Change the connection type to FTDI, then we go to auto connect, which is what I always do, so you don't have to connect it manually. On the COM settings, change the board rate from auto to 115.2 kilobytes per second, and also then check the auto increase box. From that point, now we head on over and just close the Forescan program down. So we've got the driver installed. Next thing we do is plug in the dongle into the laptop the light flashes once red then becomes blue it's automatically setting up the device drivers uh, and no point have i unpacked the uh, raw file at all and that's the drivers ready installed so the dongle is now ready for use so forescan is installed hopefully the dongle is installed and it's auto detected all the drivers um, predominantly forescan is used on ford vehicles uh, but it does also work on Mazdas. Uh, I own a Mazda because I tend to like a reliable sort of car. I no longer work on Fords and I don't have access to a Ford at the moment. So we're going to plug it in and try it on my car. Excuse the grass, it does need cutting. Okay, so we've got the dongle connected to the OBD port of the car. We now plug the cable into the USB of the laptop. It's made its little noise. Green light has come on on the dongle. 
So now we will open up Forescan and hopefully it will detect the vehicle. I put the ignition on. <laughs> Keep pressing it twice, three times thinking I'm working on a BMW. So that's the ignition on on my car. Turn the radio down, I'm not the person I was last night. Okay, so what we've got here, please make sure the following conditions are met. Ignition key is on, blah de blah de blah de blah de blah. Don't need to see that again, it's all self explanatory. So, because I pressed auto connect, that's what it's doing. It's rec recognized it's a Mazda CX3, and now it's going through and doing all its basic checks. Oops highlighted them for some reason so that's it that's fully installed I'm not going to go through a demonstration of what Forescan can do on this particular Mazda that's maybe for another video the idea of this video was to uh, download install Forescan give it a free two-month trial license and install the dongle so that's what we've done so thanks for watching and until next time see you later